Hey, hey, everybody! It's Eddie from Tokyo. This is your cryptocurrency update from Japan. We're gonna we're gonna take a mile high view, and then we're gonna get back on the ground. But first, I want to look at three reports that came out, and they take us beyond the headlines. It's looking at how this market is maturing three, four, five, six years from now. Because I think if you ever question if you're really in the right space, this will tell you that you are. So first, quick fact by the McKinsey Global Payments Report that came out in September. As of early 2018, nearly 60% of the top 50 wholesale banks were engaged in at least one blockchain-enabled industry initiative in trade finance. Now, as of mid-2019, it has increased to nearly 90%. And in that report, we can see that the outlook looks very good. It is expected to have an annual growth in payment revenues over the next five years to be 6% with total revenues increasing by $715 billion and surpassing $2.7 trillion by 2023. So here's the million dollar question. Will Ripple be there in 2023? Well, according to Acquire, which is a research company who compiles data for Samsung, 3M, IBM, ExxonMobil, just to name a few. They just completed a global blockchain finance market report that takes us out to 2024 and names Ripple as a top most key player, along with IBM and Rubix, which is a project by Deloitte. The BIS, which stands for the Bank of International Settlements, they came out with their report on the 24th of October, cross-border remittances up 6%. This expansion is the highest annual growth rate since the great financial crisis of 2008. This 10 page report, oh boy, if you look at those scary numbers when we were in Q2 of 2009, you can see that that was when all the markets were down uh, nearly 8 to 15 percent. But I want to look on the brighter side, which is today. This is a one year chart and you can see that the red column represents all countries and there's your growth rate at 6.19 percent this next chart here is actually the cross-border growth by market naveen gupta i talked about him in yesterday's video he is in the busiest region of the world you can see q2 2019 he is in a market that is experiencing 10.89% growth. Latin America, yeah, a really nice pump here, 6.57. June, you know, in June, we learned Ripple opened their office in Brazil. Here is Southeast Asia. It has been really strong and Ripple has their office in Singapore too. So three out of the six global offices can provide that flexibility and uniqueness required by each marketplace. The office they have in the Middle East is in Dubai. So this is, I think, the right space to be in. Okay, flip side. Uh, flip side crypto raises 7.1 million in a Galaxy digital led round. This probably went under the radar for you as it did for me. This was a series seed prime round of funding. And the reason why they got this money, I think, is because there's a huge demand for quality blockchain analytics. And this team is in Boston and it has data scientists, data engineers, and software en engineers that are the envy of any IT startup. So what is it that they are doing exactly? Well, they provide a score from zero to 1,000. And actually, after they do that, they assign a letter grade. They have done 500 plus projects, and they look at the user activity, the developer behavior, and the market maturity. These ratings are not done by amateurs or companies switching their business models to make a quick buck with a new opportunity. Now, this is based on brains. They gave Ethereum 
an S at, with a score of 945. XRP received a letter score of A, which is attractive, with their score of 827. Uh, the other projects in that A ranking were Bitcoin, Chainlink, and BCH, Bitcoin Cash, to just name a couple of them. There were plenty of Cs, and the majority, the majority of these projects were given an F for fragile. So I would say uh, 80% fell in a caution or fragile uh, ranking. And this is going to be a company, I think, that will be worth paying attention to and watching. Okay, I am going to make sure that you have Craig DeWitt's Twitter handle, at Crypto Cowboy, C-W-B-Y. And why? Well, he is uh, building something interesting. Yeah, everybody is building these days, right? He sent me a link of his new beta launch of the Songs Store. And I want you to know his Twitter because if you have some advice or comments or any feedback to give him, I am sure he'll really appreciate it. Here is the app here. It's very easy to use. You can send just 0 0.0589 XRP and then download a sample song. This sample song is, by the way, well, it'll make you smile. But this space is quite full, right? There's a lot of competition and I think it needs some special dif differentiator. And I'm giving it a lot of thought. I have not given him my reply yet and I am just really thinking hard on this because it needs that one little bit of twist to make it stand out. So if you think you've got that twist, uh, please find him on Twitter and let him know what it is. And speaking of building, yeah, there's just a lot of building going on. This is uh, something we need to pay attention to. It's happening outside of uh, what is going on with Ripple and XRP, but it's important to pay attention to the space. This is Accenture and SAP, and they are building a prototype, prototype that uses DLT. They are going to also collaborate with R3, and this is for uh, banks and customers. It will be interoperable. It will use digital tokens that are cryptographically secured. Uh, yeah, and R3 is going to make sure that it has a seamless integrated financial services ecosystem. So anyway, I just want to point out what is happening out there. And then today I had the most pleasant conversation with Sincerely George and she is organizing this XRP Community Choice Awards, which is current, which has currently raised 17,614 XRP. I was inspired to write this because she really pointed out to me how much the developers in all projects actually uh, need to be rewarded. And uh, this goes for anybody in the crypto sphere and I think it's going to be a model for a lot of other projects to look at as a way to raise those funds for the for the developers. Uh, even if you don't vote and even if you uh, don't want to watch the final production that she is working so hard on. She's mashing together these pre-recorded award announcements and there's going to be a surprise appearance and there's even prizes. At least donate to the fund, just five XRP. It supports projects that are built on the XRP ledger and it supports the developers who are building. It's going to benefit the entire XRP ecosystem. So this is what I felt after I finished the conversation. Forget a foreign language. <laughs> Learn JavaScript, C Sharp, C++, Python, Golong, Solidity, Java, or Rust. Participation in XRP Community Choice Awards is a model for all crypto. And the XRP donated, yeah, it's going to be 100% transparent and used to help developers via the XRP Community fund. So here is the link 
to the XRP Community Choice Awards. She is pouring her heart and soul into this. It is a tremendous amount of work. And I think she needs to be recognized for this amazing contribution. Yeah, I truly do. So please, at least five XRP. All right, everybody, I'm jumping to the fluff. I am sticking with the Good Design Awards. This is Japan's Good Design Awards. It's held every year and has been for the last 60 years. You can find that they give awards out from websites to houses to teapots. And October 2nd, they announced the 2019 winners. Uh, all the works will be on display in Tokyo in the Midtown area of Roppongi, which is in the core of the city from October 31st to Monday the 4th. Over 1,000 designs will be shown and it's free. And I just wanna share with you some of the products that received the design award. This is an underwater drone from Taiwan. Yeah, um, underwater filming, ocean exploration, maybe for rec recreational use. I don't know, I wanna use it. Whatever you can dream of underwater, you can do it for just $1,599. And then look at this. Oh my gosh, this is the Dell Curved Monitor. It's 49 inches wide. It's a double screen display. You can use it with a single mouse and keyboard. $1,299. This is on my wish list. I, I just, I just have to do this one. And then the most unique, I think, was one project out of Japan. This is a Japanese book hotel. It's in Hakone, which are in the mountains, about 90 minutes from Tokyo. In the hotel, there are 12,000 books that you can choose from. And all the rooms, all the rooms have an open air private soaking bath. <laughs> 18 rooms, all with the mountain or greenery view, and it's a lot of green. Uh, every room is unique, and there are books everywhere, in the room, in the halls, in the common space, even in the hotel restaurant. Look at this meal served inside a carved out piece of driftwood. I love the creativity of the presentation. And one more I want to share is a special favorite that I had looking through them all. This is a Japanese unprecedented garden called Mizuwa. It's designed by the young architect Junya Ishigami he completed his master's at Tokyo University of the Arts and Music, and he also won the Golden Lion Award in Venice back in 2010. I just, just love what he has done here. And in looking at more works that he's worked on, if you're in the Netherlands, you might recognize this because this is one of the buildings that he finished in the park. And I'm not quite sure how to pronounce the location, so I'm not even going to try. But I would guess that some of the people watching this channel from the Netherlands might recognize this. I think he's quickly becoming one of the great masters. Okay, everybody. Yeah, do take care. Sayonara for now. Bye-bye.